Today we're covering a presentation on dengue cases in the middle Peri de du Sol region of Rio de Janeiro. The research team, led by Gabriela Lorraine Satius, is presenting their findings at the Southern Science Conference. Their work offers insights into the changing patterns of this persistent health challenge. Introduction The researchers begin by emphasizing the significance of dengue as a re-emerging public health concern. They highlight that the 80s Egypti mosquito remains the primary vector for transmission. With no vaccine currently available through the public health system, the team stresses the importance of mosquito control and community-based prevention strategies. Objective The study's primary objective, as outlined by the team, is to analyze dengue case data from 2019 and 2022 in the Middle Peri Badusel region. They've employed Minitab software for their statistical analysis, aiming to identify significant trends in the average number of dengue cases across the region. For their methodology, the research team focused on the Middle Peri Badusel region, an area encompassing 12 municipalities over 6,203.4 square kilometers. They sourced their data from Sinan and Datasys, Brazil's official health statistics databases. The team then applied statistical analysis using Minitab software to process this information. Results and Discussion Part 1 In presenting their initial findings, the researchers note a marked difference in the distribution of dengue cases between 2019 and 2022. They observed a more concentrated distribution in 2019, contrasting with a more dispersed pattern in 2022. This observation led them to conduct further statistical tests to determine the significance of these differences. Results and Discussion Part 2 The team then explains their use of the Shapiro-Wilk test for normality. They report a p-value of less than 0.010, significantly below the conventional 0.05 threshold. This result indicated that their data was not normally distributed, prompting them to proceed directly to hypothesis testing. Results and Discussion Part 3 In their key findings, the researchers revealed the results of their Mann-Whitney test. With a p-value of 0.038, below the 0.05 significance level, they conclude a statistically significant difference between the 2019 and 2022 samples. They suggest potential factors for this difference, including the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on reporting and vector control activities. Conclusion in conclusion, the research team emphasizes that dengue remains a significant re-emerging arbovirus in the region. They stress that the notable variation in cases between 2019 and 2022 underscores the need for continued research and more targeted public health policies to address this evolving challenge. Acknowledgements The presentation concludes with the researchers expressing their gratitude to their academic advisors, Vasuras University the University Center of Bara Munsa, and the conference organizers for their support and the opportunity to share these important findings.